Sorry guys, give me a minute. Let me put on a shirt. All right. Because you guys know that punch out show we did earlier today and the Kirby we did earlier today as well. Oh God, I got Dorito breath because I had a, my Doritos right there. I had a little bit of that and like a Sprite. So like my breath's all types of hot. But uh, I'm gonna share this stream so we can get it on. So I um I want to talk about the punch out shit first. Like not not in my experience, but I want to talk about that first. Like why it took so long for me to get this vlog going. So on so on when I could have started that shit like hours ago. You know what I mean? Like I could have started this. I could have had this vlog up and going long time ago, but I didn't. You know. Oh my god, it used the last photo as the thumbnail. God damn it, why does my iPhone do that now? Cause I, I just I decided to redo it. I don't know why it it God. And I still haven't added my Kirby video. So basically what uh Oh fuck. Fuck, did I Oh. Um, but anyways, basically what took me so long was I was trying to edit, um, no, it's the Kirby playlist. I was trying to fix up my punch out video. I was going to, uh, I was going to chop out like the bits where I needed like to restart the game because there was just a lot of there like half that stream I just finished trappers on that bitch half that stream uh, Was like me fucking up not knowing the controls because I've actually never opened the application and looked at the controls and kind of got a feel for it I kind of want I kind of wanted like punch out arcade and Super punch out arcade to be like completely new experiences where it's like you guys are joining me on our adventure to for playing that shit you know what i mean like right then and there you know instead of like you know me kind of already having a history with the game so on and so forth um bongo what's good bongo how you doing just gonna gonna put in some hashtags while i'm talking about like punch out a little bit uh, kirby uh, nintendo switch online yeah it was nintendo yeah, it was Nintendo Switch, Nintendo Switch. Cause I gotta put in hashtags for Kirby's Adventure, you know, NES. I meant to put once. Um, Dachi, how you doing? Um, but yeah, we finished, uh, I just got up from a nap. Oh, damn, you just woke up? Damn, dude. Alright, I don't, I don't really care about tags. This video didn't really do too hot anyway, so I don't really care about it too much in comparison to, like, a vlog or my experience or whatever. But... So yeah, that's what took me so long was I was video trappering. I was spending a lot of time trying to, cause, okay. So in YouTube studio, there's an app that allows you, or not an app. In YouTube studio, you're allowed to straight up edit your video. And for some reason, I think YouTube studio got rid of the feature where you're able to edit your YouTube streams or videos from the shit. And it only, it says instead of replacing it, replacing the, the file, because all I want to do was chop out all the bits where I had to restart, get the controls going, but it's whatever. I can't do anything about it now. The video is not even processed, and usually my iPhone videos in terms of streams and so on and so forth take like a day or two to like fully process. So I would probably have to wait 24 hours anyway and i already have all the trappers up so i don't want to like kind of re-trap through all that shit oh 
Hello, my friendling. I am Indian Dax Invader. Oh, that's... I don't... I don't have anything that you can take away in terms of, like, tax-wise, but... Okay. But, yeah, like, other than that and, like, Kirby, like, Kirby's Adventure for a little bit, my phone was burning up, which is why I didn't, like, finish the game in, like, part two, so that's why we're probably gonna make a part three of that. Uh, and that's why uploads have been kind of slow again, is, like, Punch-Out took... Punch-Out Arcade took way longer. I don't know when I'll get the... My experience on Punch Out Arcade out there because I just played the game and I usually like waiting a little bit before making a My Experience episode on something, you know what I mean? And plus, if I don't remember my experience on the game, I'll remember it by replaying it or watching that video again. But that game was tough, man. That game was really tough. And, and don't worry, we won't have to go through all the settings again because I actually did take a look this time throughout the settings and everything just kind of saved over both games so that's a bit weird but other than that like my day for today has been kind of weird louis ain't here anymore he uh, had to go to work He's, he went to work early today that's kind of the first out of a million times it's fucking hot summer day today I gotta feed the dogs here in a bit, cause it's like almost, what, like 12, maybe, something, and like, I haven't fed the dogs this morning, or anything, cause I've, you know, been doing the streams, been doing this stuff, <sighs> I'm wondering when I'm actually gonna decide to do Super Punch Out Arcade, cause I was, originally, I was planning on, ugh, fucking roaches, man. Originally, I was planning on um, playing it, like, I was planning on, originally planning to play both of them after the Thousand Year Door remake, but since I'm not 100% sure I'm going to still get the Thousand Year Door remake, I kind of just said, fuck it, let's just play Punch-Out, let's just play, like, a little bit of a, little bit of a arcade Punch-Out, because I wanted to get more Punch-Out that wasn't, like, a, a ROM hack, you know, another official Punch-Out game. You know what I mean? Like, I want to play more. Part of me still wants to play more, so I might actually have to give the other SNES ROM hacks, like, maybe Fred's Cool Punch-Out 2, or all-new Punch-Out ROM hack, like, a look -see, and we can do some Punch-Out ROM hack videos and stuff. Uh, see what the hell I'm getting into, but we'll probably save all that shit for, like, a later day. For now, I just want to kind of chill out, you know talk to you guys i don't know if you guys want to talk back in chat but just chat it up with me and shit how was your guys' day like other than like because i already explained mine in like eight minutes essentially taking up this whole stream so far i'm just kind of chill i'm just chilling now like i'm laid the fuck back i know dashi said he just woke up from his nap so like there's not really much he probably did that day or today so uh Hold on. Manuel Ramos, how was your day? If you're still in here. And Bongo, how was your day? If you guys are still in here. You know, just... Fuck, bro. While I wait on your guys' responses, I'll, uh... Talk about my TikTok. So I decided on TikTok... I decided to start posting some of my voiceovers over there on tiktok just to kind of try things out and they're pretty much getting like the same amount of views as it as they would on my tiktok account since my uh tiktok account isn't like very popular i only have like 89 followers over there and the majority of the time my videos reach about 200 views over there so like not really a whole lot in comparison to like my youtube which my youtube shorts can kind of just range from pretty all right to like it can the video can blow up like the one piece uh final part on akainu that has 1.8k which thanks to you guys thank you y'all for getting that voice over to 1.k uh for anyone who hasn't watched part one go check out part one it's actually a uh, of ace versus akainu it's actually pretty funny and also maybe check out chris's channel because chris also helped me out with that voiceover and stuff he still isn't giving me the mega man one which i pretty much wanted but he was talking to me uh, off camera we were talking about it we made it and or i made it out of nowhere 
more like it. And, you know, he was talking about how you always have something. Let me have some fucking voice work or voiceovers and voice dubs and shit. And he was telling me that you can literally do, you can literally record like 10, 20, 30 different, my, or different types of videos if you wanted to, like voiceover work and so on and so forth. You don't even need the ones that you get with me. You, I, I could take those. And it's like, yeah, you could take those. But a part of me really just wanted that one because that one was so in the moment. And I feel like that one was pretty funny. So for anyone that loves like Mega Man ZX, you know, if I do end up getting that voiceover, I'll probably upload it sometime in the future. I just don't know when. Got some kids outside my apartment. Just loving life, I guess. I don't know if you hear them, but I hear them. Oh, I think it's, I think the kid is sad or something. I don't know. Yeah, it's very frustrated. It's always like little, little kids. They're never kids my age. Like, I've lived here for like seven fucking years, bro. Seven to eight years, I think. Maybe, I think five, six, seven. I think around seven. Seven years, and I haven't met anyone because the, the time zones. It's because really the times have changed. Even five, six years ago, times have changed in terms of, like, meeting people because nowadays in the world of meeting people, not a lot of people are willing to meet other people. So you're kind of sitting there, like, because, like, I've been seeing so many videos, too. Like, people talk about all the time, 24 cents every week. I have no friends. And, like, I don't know why, but there's a stupid amount of people that make videos, like, every day talking about I'm in my 20s or I'm mid-20s or I'm 30s even. And I have no friends, no relationships. I'm by myself. I'm lonely. I have no one to talk to. No one wants to talk to me or vice versa, so on and so forth. And I can understand these people because... That's essentially my situation ever since I moved in here. Like, ever since I got out of school, uh, I haven't had any, like, friends that are, like, IRL, like, that we can, I can go hang out with, like, right now. You know what I mean? Like, I don't got any of that. Uh, I only have, like, I have everyone I know online. I've known everybody online here, like, Doc Chief. You know, Dachi, for example, Renee, for example, uh, Jim, I've known those guys for like years, but I haven't, I haven't really had any like outside friendship experience because I've always been so, uh, like with me, I've always been so nervous just to walk up with to somebody and be like, Hey, how are you doing? Cause like, I don't know. I, I don't know if anyone else can relate to this, but ever since I've become like 20, or 1918 or 17, 16, I don't know about 19, 17, 16, but ever since I became like a 20 year old, right? I don't know why my phone is fucking freezing up so much, um, but yeah, ever since I became like 20 years old, and I mean this, ever since I became 20, I, I've always struggled with the idea of even making a friend. Because I'm 20 now, I'm an adult. So if I become a friend with like an underage person, like someone that's a minor, like 17, 18, well not 18, but 17 under, you know, that that's weird. You know what I mean? I have to, I have to watch out for that because everyone around me, you know, that is probably that kid's parents or his friends. They're going to look at me weird. You know what I mean? They're going to be like, who the fuck is this guy like hanging around 17 year old? Because usually people in America, in the States, they're like, if you don't hang around people, your age gap or your age, you know, um, it's not like you better keep that shit just online or something. And I'm not trying to sound like a suspicious person. It's just facts. Like 
keep it online. Don't don't go anymore with it, you know? Because, like, I swear to God, I've had this mindset ever since I turned 20. Like, I don't want to, like, really be, like, super close with anybody, like, underneath my age. Like, what I want to be instead is obviously be there in their lives, but, like, kind of, like, influence them to do great things. That's it. You know what I mean? Like, that's the limit for me in terms of doing that. You know what I mean? And so, and it's, like, there's nobody in my area that's, like, older than me, like, by a year or two. At least that I know of. You know what I mean? Like, I've lived here, again, for six, seven years in Chandler. And I have made almost no friends. I, yes, I have reconnected with friends. But, like, we don't really hang out super often. Like, I can't just call up one of my boys and be like, yo, one, let's go do something. Because I, I kind of feel bad, too. Like, for example, since I have no job, I have no money. You know what I mean? And mostly friends that are in that age group around 20s. You know, 20s, 21s, 22s, 23, 24, 25s. They're... They already got their hands dipped in money, so they and they can only hang out with you on certain days of the week or when they got off, right? Um, they're gonna like expect you to be like, all right, a, let's go check this place out. Let's go go to this place. Let's go to this place. See how fun it is. You know, fun, exciting, uh, so on and so forth. Hey, you you buying? You know, and it's like I don't have money, so I can't buy. So they would have to buy it for me, and it's like I don't want to do that. You know what I mean? I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to like, that's, that's the reason why I don't connect with uh, a lot of my other friends that have jobs is because I, I'm that kind of outlier guy. Unless you already know my situation and circumstances, I don't want to like kind of hang out. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm not saying that's all 20 year olds do go out and spend whatever they have on whatever, like type food, like dinners, dinner parties or something like that. I know it's not all about that, but I know, like, oh, that happens a lot of the time. And especially, like, I remember when Louie and I and another friend hung out. You know, he went to these Mexican places. They were fucking expensive on Louie because Louie couldn't pay for a whole lot of it and so on. Oh, God. It was so, it was so complicated. I, rem I remember, and I, d I didn't want to experience it again, to be honest. Since I'm also kind of like a social outcast in a weird way. Um... I'm a social outcast because, like, I don't really hang out with people IRL. I kind of do bad with people IRL since I haven't hung out with anybody since, like, the ninth grade, I think. Like, the ninth, maybe tenth grade. I haven't hung out with anybody in terms of, like, people. Because I remember when I, again, I hung out with Louie's friend Alyssa, and that was a roller coaster for a disaster. I remember, like... The nervousness, the shaking, the fucking different feelings I was going through. Like when Louis said, come on, let's, let's go outside. Let's do something. Like, I remember that experience like it was yesterday. And it felt like yesterday. Now, this is not scary or anything. But it's my anxiety that just completely overwhelmed the hell out of me. And it it didn't allow... it it. it It fucked me over, man. Like, I remember, like, it fucked me over so bad in that combo that I just wanted to go home. I didn't want to hang out anymore. I wanted to go home and go back to something that made me feel more comfortable. And I remember telling Chris the next day about that, and he was fucking pissed off because he knew that, you know, he, he, because Chris knows, Chris knows me very well, aka Chris slash Rene YT, for anyone that doesn't know. Uh, Chris knows me extremely well so um he knows me well so like all these scenarios like he knows how good or bad i would have acted in public so on so forth or not public but uh you know what i mean like go to public places or meet somebody brand new because i didn't know Alyssa before that day you know i only just heard things from louie i didn't actually officially meet her so meeting someone new irl was pretty damn bad for me and then the second time I went on an IRL trip was with our boy, uh, with our boy. And Louie and I, we planned this out a little bit. Like, I think Molo came to one of my videos. I can't remember. And he said, yo, let's hang out. Where y'all at? So on, so on. And, you know, we explained all the details. Explained how we're going to get this set up. And the whole time on that trip was a clusterfuck. Because 
my anxieties, my, I, like, I remember I didn't know what to talk about when I was hanging out with Louie and Maul. Louie was cool because, you know, he has a job and Maul has a job, so they can kind of connect with the whole job thing, paycheck. They, can, they already have some things they can talk about. Me and Maul, on the other hand, you know, it was a little bit more awkward because I'm pretty much doing the exact same things. He's been improving his life. He's been, you know, going on and, and getting it and doing life, you know what I mean? Me, I've just been chilling at home, you know, making YouTube videos all day. That's literally what I do and still do to this day. I still do it. Now I just do it daily. Back, back a few months, months upon months, maybe a year or two back, you know, I wasn't doing that shit weekly. I, I was doing it like weekly to almost daily, like every few days I would upload back then. So it wouldn't be as crazy as now. Now it's like, I upload every day, 24 hours, seven days a week. But anyways, not 24 seven, but I upload like three, four, five videos a day. Like mainly three streams and I try my best to get two shorts out. So it's like five videos I uploaded that day. Or I give you guys six, which is like an additional short or something like that. If I just really feel like giving y'all a short. But, um, right. So after like the reason why it not only because of, anyways, back to what I was saying about the trip, right? The whole thing when we went places, I was sweating. I was full of anxiety. Like anxiety just fully took over. And I remember I, I asked Malo sometime, Malo, am I making things awkward or something? No, things aren't awkward. You're just making them awkward because in your brain, you believe it's awkward. And I'm like, oh, shit. Dude, and it took me half the trip for me to even settle in the whole idea that I'm hanging with Malo again. And I remembered after everything, you know, he made a few jokes here and there about wanting me to go with Mexico with him and shit, saying spend a few weeks there. And I'm like, I don't fucking know. I don't think my dad would allow it. And I thought it was wild, but I know it was a joke. But yeah, I was just kind of scared the whole time. Because I didn't know what could happen to me. I didn't know, like, you know, what we were going to do outside of doing, like, what I what Louie told me we were going to do. And I'm sorry, but, like, I, I couldn't get that stress relieved. I couldn't get that shit out, like, or that anxiety out my body. And I remember after that trip, I kind of didn't want to do it again. I kind of didn't want to, not, not because it's, you know, my boy's fault or anything. Like, he's the whole reason I didn't want to do it again. You know, Molo's the whole reason why I didn't want to do it again. It's my anxiety. That's why I don't want to do it again. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to go, I, I don't and I do. Like a big part of me doesn't, but a big part of me do, like does and doesn't. Like my anxiety is the whole reason why I don't want to do that again. I don't want to do that type of shit again. You know what I mean? You kind of got to like build me up, you know? And then I got to be with people. I feel like that I got to be 100% confident. Like not only got my back, but like, I don't know. Like, and I gotta like, kind of know you to feel comfortable being around you. You know what I mean? Everybody feels that way. Lego Batman Chapter 3. I didn't even know. You know, funny thing is about Lego Batman. I didn't think I would build somewhat of a falling off my Lego Batman videos, you know. Uh, but I will do that sometime in the future. I just want to take a break from that and allow Louie to kind of do his own thing, so on and so forth. But anyway, so enough about like anxiety stories and the reason why i want to well enough of that <clears throat> excuse me i meant to say you see if i was um a part of me wants to do it because i know myself i need to get that back out there because the more i socialize the more i get back into it the more i you know, the more I, the more I socialize with people, the more I, the more the anxiety of socializing with people will go away. Because when I was younger, I didn't have this social anxiety thing being around people. I mean, I did if it was around certain, like a bunch of people I had no idea. 
right? But like, I didn't think it would be like to this degree that it is now. It's way worse now than it was back then. And that's the crazy part. But I know I have to socialize. I gotta do it because if I don't do it, and I can't see the fucking number of people in here sometimes. But anyways, yeah. If I don't push in terms of like shorts, something, or not shorts. If I don't push myself to be in social environments and social places, I'm just going to be like forever stuck in an awkward position where I just can't really focus and be with people. You know what I mean? Like, I know I need to be better, so I need to do it more, which is why I've been trying my best to go outside, to socialize, be in a natural environment, maybe try my best to walk into places, start a random, say hi to people. Because I'm always looking down at people when I go on walks, too. Not like looking down as I'm, look, I'm looking at them and they're like, piece of shit or something. No, I'm always looking, my head is down because I'm so nervous about what they're going to do. Or I'm nervous of them looking at me, and it's a whole thing. So, that's just my anxiety and all that other sort of stuff talking. But... Yesterday, let's get down to the bit. Let's get down to what I was trying to talk about. What the title says, because the title isn't clickbait. So, I know a lot of people who would be in here right now, you know, they would be. They would be kind of pissed off that this even happened in the first place, but. I talked to Demon the other day. All right, now, if you don't know who Demon is, in vlog 31, which was a few vlogs back from this one, so I gotta get comfortable, because today's, it's pretty hot today, so like, the whole vibe thing, but, and you guys probably don't see me lay down too much. But yeah, I talked to Demon again, Yesterday because he because I forgot to block him on PlayStation. I thought I did but I did uh, Lord Dracon. How you doing? Right, so I thought I blocked him on PlayStation, but he texted me Al and I texted him what because if you guys remember in vlog 31 I found out that he has a whole ass server with me and him going back and forth in it. And it's stuff that I have had no memory about. Stuff I don't even fucking remember doing, right? In that Discord. And like like I said in the vlog, if you if because there was a lot of people there that witnessed that shit that day. But anyways, that's the point. So he texted me saying some shit. I was like, what do you want? What do you need? Because I, I, I'm not gonna give Demon too much time of the day because I already know how he is. Because usually he'll say his thing, I'll say what I say, he'll say what he says, and then it kind of turns into a whole thing, right? So I'm not even gonna try to acknowledge the energy. I am well. I'm glad you're doing well, Drakon Abri. Ah, sorry. I'm glad you're doing well, Drakon. It's just my voice, my vocals and stuff is all, all over the place. So he talks to me again about everything. He was like, geez, I can't say what's up to one of my homies. It's been, you know, long time, been a long while. And then we started going back and forth about stuff. And I said, you do know why I don't talk to you because of, you know, everything with the Discord server that you never told me about or something like that, so on, so on. And people in my group constantly don't like you. You know what I mean? So it's like, I have to handle the situation in that regard uh, to like get him out of there. Cause every, like every day Demon would start something in my discord 24, seven, seven days a week with somebody. It could be race Demon be, be throwing out racial slurs at people, so on, so forth. You name it, he's probably said it or done it in my server. Well, or private DMs between those guys. And I had enough of it, so I finally blocked him, slash, or Chris blocked him, or Chris got rid of him from the server. I blocked him on Discord, so he can't come back to the server. And, you know, we went on our merry way after that. Like, I was done with him. 
And, but anyways, that's not the point again. I was just explaining shit. I always kind of explain shit and go into like the older shit, but we talked and he was talking about how I thought you forgot about Discord. I haven't been using Discord in quite some time. And I'm like, why, why would I forget the reason why I would not stop talking to you? You know, like everyone remembers why they stopped talking to them. Unless it's really stupid or it's been really long. I haven't wanted to do, but I will forever remember why. I don't talk to demon anymore and those are like the main reasons why other people don't like them and demons constant bickering with them just went over mode to the point they're always telling me about it and it would annoy the fuck out of me and shit or you know like other shit but he was talking to me about how everyone loves you Alex for everything you do, you never get ridiculed. You never get told anything. I'm always the one out of the two of us to get bashed for anything I do, anything I say, so on and so forth. You're like a fucking saint, Alex. And I'm sitting there like, I know I ain't no saint because Chris, Louie, my dad, and countless others will ridicule me if I did something really stupid. I don't do stupid shit like crazy stupid shit like you do 24 7 which is why people get on your ass in the first place you know and then demon was also telling me some stuff like the way you handled it alex by putting it all on youtube was wrong you should have talked to me about this and i'm like i'm sitting there with louie and chris in the background i'm sitting there like how the fuck Am I going to be able to talk to you about this when I had no idea the server existed? My memory of that whole event is not even there. You know what I mean? Like, how am I going to remember this shit? And how could I not put it on YouTube after figuring out what the fuck, you know, J bro was letting me in on and telling me about? And, you know... Demon was over here also talking about how I quote unquote resent people, right? And this shit pissed me off a lot because resentment, I resent, he says, uh, he said something like, I don't, you know, Alex, I don't resent people, but you do. So, oh, well, and I'm like, Nigga, if I resented people, I would not have given you a chance right off the bat. Matter of fact, I've given you more chances than probably anyone in my entire Discord lifetime. If I truly hated you, Demon, would I have defended you all those times? And even in a previous vlog, I've defended you when you got back into the community. My, my group for the first time in ages. I've done nothing but defend you. And I've even told people, hey, can you guys fuck off with the old beef and the old hatred from shit from eons ago? It's all done now. Let's stop and let's restart. Let's refresh. But then you kept going on with the same type of energy you've always been. And it's like, you're ticking people off in my Discord constantly. So a lot of it is not, not good. And I remember after a while, he brought up me and Louie saying, you guys going to do the same thing you guys always do? And I remember Louie was like, don't ever bring me into that. And I'm like, yeah, I agree. I don't know why Louie's even involved in what we're talking about. But pretty much, I kind of... That kind of sums up, like, what... Dean and I were talking about what we were discussing about what we were going over. I don't have the DMs anymore because I blocked him on PlayStation and I left the group chat. So that way I'm not a part of it. Even if he tries to get me back in, he's not going to talk to me again. And, you know, he also said some shit like, oh, don't worry. I can wait till you decide to talk to me again. And I'm like, oh, this guy really thinks that I'm going to go back to him again because they've done it in the past, right? You know, he's kind of guilt tripped me into letting him back in, you know, multiple times. You know, so, and I remember Chris was telling me, dude, he was like, dude, he's trying to guilt trip you to get back into the community. Try to get back. The 
Don't trust them. Don't believe them. Don't even give them the... Don't even give them the time of day. And I was like, you know what, Chris? You're right. Because why should I? Out of all the times, I have given you a chance. Despite what Chris said in the past to me in calls, DMs, so on. And same with Louie and same with countless others. I still have given him a chance. And then he does just goes back and does the same thing. And then after that Discord stuff and so on, I, I'm done. You know what I mean? Like, I'm actually done. I don't resent you, Demon, if you're watching this. Because, you know, you are you watch my page sometimes. I don't resent you. But I don't, like, respect you for everything that you kind of just did to me as well. Like, in terms of saying pretty much fuck all my, you know, let me bring you back. Let me actually give you another chance type deal. And really didn't even bother changing yourself. And I even said, I'm surprised you're even bothering texting me because I've made it abundantly clear. Don't talk to me. Don't socialize me. Don't socialize me on my social media. Leave me alone. And then he was also saying like 10 years, huh? 10 years down the drain, Alan. And I'm like 10 years down the drain. And that made me think a little bit because that is 10 years, 10 years or close to it. Cause I, didn't, I don't think I knew him back in 2014. Cause 2014 right here would be 10, but no, but with all seriousness, like, uh, Lucas, how you doing? Um, but yeah, like, no, dude, you know what I mean? No. 10 years with Demon, and I was going to say, and I, and I said this to Chris and Party, but I said this, I was like, me and Demon were kind of like on and off, you know, in terms of like being friends, you know, like a lot of the time there was a lot of periods where we didn't even talk to each other. You know, or there was a lot of periods where we talked to each other a lot. And there was like in-betweens where, you know, we just didn't socialize, so on and so forth. I'm fine, you? I'm doing all right. I'm just talking about Demon because Demon came back into my life again. Yesterday. And shit. So, just been talking about him for the past minute or two, a few minutes. talking about how he wants to come back in or something or try to guilt trip me into making him come back in even though everyone already knows he's kind of a he's kind of he's a bit much like lucas you know what he's what he's done now um i don't know if dracon does but i know s class knows what he does now in terms of shit like he even texted her a while back you know, years back talking about he want to do things. It's a whole thing, and I'm not going to get into it again. But when you know the name Demon, it's like, oh, they're talking about him. But, yeah, he came back into my life. And, you know, he actually did congratulate me for being near 3,000 subscribers. So I know he watches the page now, but. You're just relaxed today? I'm glad because I, I pretty much need to relax after that punch-out shit. Damn, that guy, that guy groomed you when you were a kid then, back then, in the past, or not, it's still not, not a good look. Yeah, not a good look. Yeah, regardless, Lucas, you already know, it's not a good look for him or for me or that situation entirely. That's why, like, when that server went, when Demon deleted the server, I think he did. He, he kind of just completely fucked off from for a while from Discord, which, you know, I guess. Do whatever, but don't socialize with me. Don't think you can just come back in and be like, hey, Al, how you doing? You know, it's like, you know what she did. That That's what bothers me is, because I remember he also said this. This is something I forgot. He said, I sticked it. I sticked, I sticked him. I sticked him. And I'm like, you sticked. You, I sticked? Dude, you did all this shit and then some. I have every right not to talk to you or want to interact with you or want to be friends. You know what I mean? Like, after everything? No, dude, you know? Like, that's, that's, that's my mindset. Like, no, dude. And I'm tired of giving you chances, man. You know? E e tired of that. I'm tired of her falling for that. Because it's like he's using... You know what I mean? It feels like 
over all out of all the times, like when I look back, it felt like all the times he was saying, "Okay, okay, give me another chance, something," or say something to guilt trip me into giving him another chance. He always took that chance and never tried to do anything with it to try to be anything better than that. And then he was also trying to tell me Jay Bro was trying to twist, you know. Everyone in your group hates me for one reason or another, you know. So how is it fair to me when everyone hates me? And it's like, dude, the reason why legit nine time nine times out of ten people in my group hate you is because of the shit you've done to me, and not only to me but to them as well, to to themselves as you know to, to you guys as well. Like in terms of like. Dachi, I remember when he called Dachi a racist, racist slur because he Dachi is Mexican, and he, you know, he called him like something really racist over there in Mexican, you know, in Mexican or something. He said, "I'm not gonna repeat it because I'm not racist like that," but he said that, and I remember I blew up that day. Um, and there were other times where he's done some shit. You know what I mean? I, I, too much shit. But I remember Louis and Chris were right there by me when he texted me and said. Get out of here, bro. Gosh, Dachi even told me that demon is a hypocrite. Yeah. His thought process. And I remember Josh was telling me multiple times, dude, don't... Demon is that type of nigga, that type of dude, to, like, say some shit, try to get under your skin, and he's gonna fucking roll with it. You know what I mean? And I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna fall for it then. If that's the case, I'm not gonna fall for it anymore. Which is why... I kept the conversation short. I said, Demon, I am never talking to you again after this message. After this little message we got going on right here. Don't text me. Don't DM me. Don't even come. If you're in the stream right now, don't even come here with another account and try to patch things up because it's not going to fucking fly, dude. You know what I mean? I'm not going to accept it. Like, I'm just not. Yeah, don't fall for it. Yeah, see? Like, even S class just knows, you know? Like, I'm not falling for it. I'm not. And that's why, like, ever since, you know, we all moved on from him. But, Lord and behold, he magically texted me um, yesterday on PlayStation. And I wanted to see what the hell. Why the hell? And, you know, it was just going nowhere. Because... Um, there was even times in the conversation where he was trying to flip the shit on me, making it, making it my fault for everything, even though it isn't. Which also kind of pissed me off, but yeah, that's demon for you. He, like, like I said, he'll pretty much do whatever to get back in to kind of get back into life and so on so on when I don't even need that you know what I mean all I need is you guys that love and support me care about me to kind of keep on going with my bitch ass you know especially during that punch out session which was a long one I apologize because a lot of the you know the resets and the controls were really throwing me off my game because I only played punch out NES a bit before punch out arcade so kind of give me some slack on that one I care about you, Alex, and I don't know him. Well, I'm glad you don't know him, because I wouldn't really want to get to know him that much either. I mean, he was cool in the beginning. I don't I don't know. Demon's a whole case that... That shouldn't just be mentioned, dude. My foot is so... My toe is so, like, black right here, dude. I don't even know why, but it just is... Like, I'm not going to show you guys because it's kind of disgusting, but it's a little black right there. Like a little black, like charcoal black on my, on this toe. Like, look at that in comparison to everything else. Like, that is weird, bro. Okay, maybe I will show you. Just a little bit. Like, I saw this shit on the side of my foot. I think it's just dry skin or something, but I don't know. Like, here's the thing. Cougar Markwell made NSFW Content Farms exposure videos towards children. He's infamous for it. Wow. That's fucked up. 
But yeah, I've had my arcs, my little anime arcs and shit. I don't know what else I want to do today. Like, I didn't plan out like 95% of my day. I just said, yo, punch out arcade and Kirby. And then this vlog wasn't even going to happen originally. Like, I just thought of it, like, as in, like, I kind of don't feel like doing a My Experience little, little thing, you know. Oh my god, I got like anime hair right here. What the hell is this? You know, I wasn't planning on doing any of that. I was just gonna, gonna plan to play Punch Out and then call it at that. That's what I was gonna do. Come on, kid. And he has some of the worst and most inappropriate thumbnails you can think of. That's wild. My hair is wild. Might need a haircut for real. Hi, my people. Hi. Oh, yeah, let me get the cat since he hasn't eaten in like two, three hours after he puked. That's why I haven't fed him anything or given him anything. Because he. Because he... I remember in the middle of my punch out stream, he just. Yeah all over the goddamn floor and I'm sitting there like, dude, come on, now I gotta clean that up. But I'll be back again. All right. All right, I'm back. All right. <clears throat> Let me look. Um, and he made sexual videos out of Luna X death, smiling critters for that community breach, student of struggles, murder drowned, etc. He made very few Sonic and Marcos movie content fits. Well, yeah, because he's just into other things. Because I've, I've seen some of his content, but I kind of quickly stopped watching him. Because, uh, not because of any of this, but just because I not grew out of him, but just kind of just stopped watching him. And that's why I stopped. I haven't really watched him. But now that I know this, I'm not really sure how I want to, like, go about it in terms of, like, watching his content. But I have a lot of other comic channels anyway. That I watch. You know, so. <clears throat> Jeez, it looks like I got like anime hair, like kind of a little bit, because of how fucking weird mine is. You know, I remember for the past few vlogs too, I was talking about I want to get another haircut or I want to, I want to get one. God, but, uh, I gotta chill with, uh, I gotta chill with, I don't know. Part of me also thinks I gotta chill out with these fucking video game things, dude. Because, like, my, uh, my anger, dude, it's getting a little bit out of control again, you know, like, after... I started noticing that, like, when I was looking back through my sunshine videos, uh, when I was making them, like, 
the realization of how angry I was getting in those and you know the TV over there you know and same with punch out earlier today too like it's like this 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 untapped anger or this unhinged anger is just fucking coming out of me half the time and it's kind of annoying that that my anger even comes out when it shouldn't you know what I mean like I I always tell myself that I'm much better at controlling it but then when I pick up that controller you know and uh start playing you know it feels like um I kind of revert you know what I mean like you see you see how I am when I'm not playing a video game you know what I mean like I want you to compare me to when I'm playing to when I'm not playing you know anything right like sure like games like Roblox like don't include that like games like I don't know take almost any game that I've played probably this year right You can probably see that I've been more mad at games like Punch Out, like Mario 64, or not Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, Sonic and the Black Knight, so on and so forth. Like, there are so many points this year and last year where I've been so angry. And it mainly sparks when I play something that that doesn't easily come to me. Like, what I mean by easily comes to me as in, like... It doesn't easily grasp my uh, it doesn't it doesn't you know when something doesn't immediately get me going you know for example like like when I was dealing with punch out arcades controls and how to deal with them how to really be in the vibe of them you know I was getting pissed about the the way controls kind of felt and the way, uh, yeah, the way the controls felt, the way I felt, you know, during it. Like, for example, something like Mario 1, right? Or Lost Levels. When I was playing Lost Levels, sure, I was getting mad at some of the level design. But most of that stream was pretty chill because, like, it's a game where I run and jump and that shit comes natural to me. That shit's easy for me to kind of get my head wrapped around. You see, like, when I was playing punch out arcade where you know it's kind of like a puzzle game it's a puzzle boxing game where you got to figure out dudes puzzles you know whoever you're fighting puzzles like oh he moves this way guaranteed this way you know and it's like a, a game of chess for each playable fighter it feels like and uh i'm not <clears throat> i'm not used to that type of energy all the time so like or even like Wario Land shake its energy with the shaking. There's always something that's gonna fucking rub me the wrong way. There's always gonna be something that's gonna like make me think and then kind of make me think. And then that leads to stressing out. And then that leads to like, oh, or that leads me to thinking about it. That leads me to overthinking. And that leads me to stressing out. And instead of stressing out, I turn that stress into kind of anger. And then it kind of fuels my rage as it goes on, the longer it goes on. Instead of just immediately, like, shutting it down. Because I didn't want to stop playing Punch Out Arcade. You know, I kind of wanted to beat everybody in one vid. You know, even if, it, even if I did have to reset, like, two, three, four different times in that vid. You know. There's Trapters. So, for anyone that wants to go to the Punch Out Arcade video and re-watch it. Start from around the Glass Joe again area of the video. Because that's where the game truly starts for me. Because if you guys remember, I fought up to Quick Kid, Kid Quick, or Quick Kid, or whatever the fuck his name was. And my game reset on me because it's an arcade game, so of course it's going to reset. And it reset on me when I didn't want it to, so I had to refight everyone again. And I was like, okay, maybe I could have ended the stream there and then said, fuck this game. But no, nah, I wanted to keep going. I wanted to keep doing that video. I wanted to keep pushing. You know, beat it. And I did. 
which I'm, I might play it again to just like off camera just to see how good I can go and get just get used to punch out arcades mechanics because I really do enjoy the game it's really fun it's just like the other ones I just have to get used to it and that's why here's a new nickname for kid quick slash quick kid rage build kid slash kid rage build kid rage build It did, a, a Kid Quick really did get me, dude. It took me a long time to beat him. To figure him out. I, God. Same with Bald Bull a little bit. Same with Sandman. Sandman definitely took me a long time. But for anyone who didn't watch that, go watch that. It's actually pretty funny. There's a lot of rage moments. There's a lot of moments where I'm just like kind of questioning what's going on or my current circumstances and so on and so forth. The video is interesting. Say the least, especially Saitama Tyson. Just especially Saitama Tyson. Definitely watch uh, my Punch Out NES playlist. I actually have one where I have all three of the videos in there. So the first gameplay video of that was me versus most of the opponents. And then the second one's basically Super Macho Man. Or the first one was up to Sandman. And I beat Sandman. And then the second one is everybody else. Like, it's, um, it was Super Macho Man, and then it was Saitama Tyson, and then me losing to him for over, like, an hour or two hours straight. And then I gave, I, well, I, then I stopped playing for the day, and then, like, weeks later, a YouTube short, I popped out, I said, the fuck, fuck Saitama Tyson, he's not gonna beat me, and I got on after learning a thing or two about him, and I figured him out, and I showed you guys on a YouTube short that, hey... I figured out Saitama Tyson, you know, aka, you know what I mean? I figured him out. I got his rip moves read and so on, which was kind of cool. I'm not even going to lie when I did that. Due to these nicknames, I'm already considered Lu the Lucas, the nickname guy. Are you? Really? Oh, Lucas, you're the guy who nicknames everything. Look at that in Alex's videos and shit. That's funny. I didn't think of a uh, nickname guy. You did come up with, like, say, Tom, I think I said say Tom with Tyson, because I didn't want to say, because I, I kind of felt bad when I said white Mike Tyson, because, you know, I'm black, so saying white is kind of racist, you know what I mean? Or a little bit racist, so I wasn't trying to be like that, so that's why I called him say Tom with Tyson instead, because his punches were, like, one tapping me, man, and so it's like, Tom, so it's like, that's kind of like a double meaning. You know, say Tom with Tyson, oh, look at this motherfucker, say Tom with Tyson, my phone is burning up again. I think it's my battery, my battery is sh shortening. Kind of because of the Saitama Tyson and Peter Stars nicknames. Yeah, the Peter Stars when I was doing Galaxy 2. Man, I need to watch. I might just sit and bench my own videos for a while. Like, get the PS5 going or the Switch. And just start watching, like, some of my playthroughs. And then kind of, like... Kind of judge them type of way. Where, like, I'm re-watching. But I'm also kind of judging my performance. Or saying, I could have done that better. Or... I wish we could react to it, like, react to some of this stuff, but, you know, my fucking tablet and phone suck so much dick when it comes to that. So, like, I can't really make, like, I mean, I can make reaction videos, but I can't really do any type of, like, reactionary streams type beat. But I might end this vlog soon, since this vlog's really been an hour, and I didn't want to spend too much time talking, since I gotta still upload some shorts, there's still some daytime left. And I kind of still need to kind of chill out and mellow out a bit because I was getting kind of loud earlier today on Punch Out uh, Arcade. So, you know, just kind of balance it out with me chilling out, you know? By the way, Peter! Oh, Alan, by the way, Peter! I still can't get over that moment when Lois actually said that shit to, to Peter and Peter was like, ah, ah, ah. Like, that scream was one hell of a performance from the Lois Griffin voice actor. Like, holy. And I mean, like, holy shit. Like, dude, it... Her, her voice there was... I still think it was so peak, her performance anyway. It was so peak. You know, funny enough, about voice acting, I remember a lot of people would uh, tell me time to time when making the voiceovers on YouTube and even sending some to TikTok, 
because I sent some to TikTok, like my Pac-Man one and my Shadow versus Sonic versus Shadow one from Sonic X voiceover. And obviously, I got the I got the people telling me I'm cringe for even doing this, you know. And then I got other people telling me that, yo, you should be a voice actor. And every time I think of wanting to be a voice actor of some kind, I'm like, I don't know, like, what I would properly suit in terms of that. Like, I don't know if I'd be an anime voice actor or a voice actor that does little kid cartoons, so on and so forth. Or do I just back and forth? Lulu deaths are funny AF. Yeah, Lulu deaths are funny AF. I could watch those for days because they are some of the funniest shits. Louis Death One, which we need to get back on like 3D World or some shit sometime and play that. I know people want us to do more Lego Batman stuff, but we need another 3D World video. We haven't played that shit in about a month or two after the first part. So it's like, Alan, where the fuck is that episode, you know? I just didn't want to rush it. I didn't want to rush 3D World, but Sonic Adventure, you know what? I might have to get back on, I don't know, later today or maybe even tomorrow even. And we might have to do another Sonic Adventure one like E-Gamma 102 or Big the Cat, you know, and do one of their respective stories and spend amount of time on it and just do it. Get it done so we can like finish up Sonic Adventure, you know, one and be completely done with it. You know, so we can get the Super Sonic, so we can, you know, finish the game up and be like, yeah, we beat Sonic Adventure in 2024, even though I started the series probably late 2023, you know, or early 2024, actually, I think, and I just, because Sonic Story pissed me off so much with the Egg Viper, I remember it like it was yesterday, and I didn't want to fucking play it anymore because of that, but I persisted, and I kept going with so much stuff. Who else but Quagmire? It's Quagmire. My, I don't know why there's underwear there. I just realized that. There's underwear in the chair. I think Louie just forgot to put it away. I don't know if it's clean or dirty, but I'm not going to go over and touch that shit. But, anyways. Um, thank you for spending like an hour with me again. An hour, two-ish, three-ish minutes. Because 60 minutes is an hour, so yeah, an hour, two minutes with me. I'm about to dip because, you know, streamed three times. And I hope you guys all have a good day. This is like the last room I'm going to do. I I will upload shorts, so look out for that. Obviously, look out for the shorts because, uh, you know, shorts uploader. And another thing, probably one more thing as well. Thank you guys so much for 2,744 subscribers. You guys have been blowing up the page. You know, I've been getting subscribers like every fucking day. And hopefully we can reach 2,800 soon. I really hope we can. You know, that'd be fucking dope. If we can, you know, 2,800 and then 2,900 then 3,000 fucking subscribers. It only took us like three years to reach it. So hopefully, you know, we can do it one day. I believe in us, but just take it one step at a time. Let's Let's get to... 2,750 subscribers and see where we go from there. But anyways, again, later guys. Um, again, I might just get on Sonic Adventure tomorrow, so maybe look out for that in terms of a live stream of that. And But anyways, until then, see you guys next time. Deuces. Oh. And if I do decide to like randomly make another live stream or a My Experience joint, look out for that because I might actually do that on like either Punch-Out Arcade, Outlast 2, uh, something I just didn't make a video on. Maybe Gex 3. Just wrap up the Gex games. Just call it a day. But anyways, until then, next, see you next time, y'all.